Hey, arty friends! Today we've got another Artist Reviews Mechanical Pencils, and today we're taking a look at the Pilot Doctor Grip. This is a very popular mechanical pencil, and I don't know why I haven't gotten to this review sooner, because I've had this Doctor Grip since I went to Japan the first time in 2012, so I've had this pencil for a while. It has a super soft, nice, cushy grip. It's a fairly classy-looking pencil, and it's got back advancement. My only major, major complaint about Doctor Grip is that it comes in all these really, really cute, beautiful colors like Sakura Pink. And in Japan, you can put like these bead inserts in and just make them really super cute. That is not available for us heavy-handed folks who need lead sizes larger than 0.5. It's available for 0.3. It's available for 0.5. But for 0.7 and 0.9, your options are super limited. So if you unscrew the front collar, as you guys saw me do, and that is a metal front collar, you can actually remove the grip. So this one has a clear grip and then underneath the clear grip is another black grippity grip. So this actually has two layers of comfort. This is a great pencil for people who might have grip issues, people who have arthritis issues, and people who are looking for softer, more comfortable pencils. Today I want to review it, but I also want to review compare it to the Bic Velocity Max. Um, the Velocity Max has a super cushy grip. It's almost like those wall stickums we used to get as kids. It is also back advancement, but you have to remove the whole back half of the pencil in order to refill the lead. Whereas with the Dr. Grip, you remove the little metal eraser cap and then you re remove the ridiculously tiny eraser and then you can refill it. And with these sort of Japanese mechanical pencils that have the super tiny erasers, I recommend you don't even use that eraser because if you use it down to the nubbins, then you can't erase, then you can't remove it and refill your pencil's lead. So I recommend you use a standalone eraser and may I recommend recommend the Pentel Click Erase. It's one of my favorites. I have absolutely no affiliation or sponsorship with any of the companies whose pencils I remove. I am coming at this from the place of a comic artist who's been drawing comics for 20 plus years, a 34 year old woman who has early onset arthritis in her drawing hand, and I want to help you guys avoid that. Somebody who has some grip problems and somebody who definitely had some writing and grip problems when she was younger. So I review these pencils to help you guys find a mechanical pencil that will serve your needs. On Amazon, this this pencil is 732. You cannot find the 0.7 mechanical doctor grips in most American stores. You can find the 0.5 and you can find a lot of the ballpoint pens. So if you're looking for a gel pen or a ballpoint pen, they do come in doctor grip. So if you write a lot, that could be a good option to investigate. So for our grip test, for our writing test, it's nice and comfy to write with, but it's not as cushy as the Velocity Max. It does have some amazing cushion though with two layers of cushy. As I said, it's harder to find at the US. Stores like Walmart have the ballpoint pin and they have a lot of those. It's available in 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0.7 and 0.9 I do believe, although 0.9 is pretty rare. It's a larger pencil, it's well made, and it's very comparable to the Velocity Max. As I said earlier, the Max's grip is more cushy, but it's also a bit sticky. This is a very comfortable pencil to write with, and it's also very comfortable to sketch with. I filled this with Pilot Color Eno Pink Lead for our underdrawing sketch, and the feed has no give or spring. So if you advance the lead too far, it is gonna be very prone to breaking, but I didn't have a lot of break issues with the lead during this part of the sketch.
Once I finished my underdrawing, I just removed the pink lead and used the lead that was already in the pencil. I have to be real with you guys. I've had this pencil for a long time. I do not know what brand lead is in it or what hardness it is, but that doesn't really matter because I didn't have any sketching, any drawing, any comfort issues with this lead, and I didn't really have any breakage issues with this lead. You guys can probably tell that I really like the Pilot Doctor Grip, and I am sure no one from Pilot is watching this video, but just in case you are, I would really like to A, ask you guys to come out with a lineup of pencils designed for younger kids. I would love to buy these pencils and supply them with my for my students because these are very comfortable pencils and they are really good for drawing. I'd also like you guys to consider offering more options in point seven. A lot of Americans, myself obviously included, are heavy handed. We bear down too hard on the pencil and yes, we ought to learn to lighten up. I get it, but let's be real here. 0.5 and 0.3 snappity snap, I waste a lot of lead to breakages. So I would love it if Pilot would consider offering some of their other options in larger sizes. They actually offer, and I don't remember the name, but I do have it and I will be reviewing it, a smaller version of this pencil. It's not Dr. Grip, it's called something else, but it's available at largest in 0.5. And it has the super cushy grip, but it's not quite as big as the Dr. Grip. So for those of us who like smaller mechanical pencils, that could be a good option. And I'd love to see them offer it in 0.7. All that said, I really do like the Dr. Grip. If you've got an older teenager or maybe like a 13 year old with grip issues, this could be a good pencil for them. However, it's a very pretty pencil and it may be prone to walking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.